Hello and welcome to another blended tutorial brought to you by the Lewis Arts. My name is Emmanuel Otafo and you guys are welcome once more. Today we'll be talking about um, the hairnet add-on. So this is more like an update to the tutorial I did um, like early this week. Um, so that tutorial I showed you guys how you can use the hairnet add-on to be able to generate hair from curves, from geometries and even fiber mesh. So today what we'll be talking about is an error which you you, um, you you have not tried but facing uh, or you, an error which you're gonna encounter related to this add-on so let me go ahead and show you guys so don't worry um, spoilers a lot spoiler a lot I'm gonna show you guys how you can walk through that um, so that error is let's add a UV sphere so let's say this is your character and let's create a basic curve and let me just do some stuff. By the way, the video is, I'll put a link in the description so you can check out the video of how you can use this add-on. So I went through and explained every single thing for you guys. Um, so let's say this is our hair, the, this is the hair for the character. So very nice, complicated hair. And let's add more strands. Okay, so this is the hair, and if you have watched the other tutorial, you know the way um, we have to do so. Let's convert this to a mesh, and then um, cursor to selected, origin to 3D cursor. So now the origin point of this curve is with the UV sphere, and yeah, so now we can select this, shift select this, and the hair net is here so we can do add hair from fibers and we have our hair system all we need to do is go to the particle system and increase the strand step and now we have our curve so let's go ahead and name this curve curve one so um, the add-on works pretty awesome for something like this especially when you just have one particle system. So let's say we have two particle systems now. So I'm going to duplicate this and move it into place. And let's apply the rotation of all the objects and repeat what we did earlier. Um, if I hit the W key, I can do set origin to 3D cursor. So we have it like this. Now, if we try to repeat this, hair from fibers, um, you will notice one thing. Um, it displaces, displaces the first one and it messes everything up and when you're working in production you don't want something as unstable as this um, so today I'm going to show you guys how you can work around that uh, when creating your asset okay so um, the way I go about working around this is I, I make, let's say I'm happy with this curve here and I'm also happy with this one so what I would do now is so I can apply the rotation and um, everything and now the origin point placement doesn't matter now I can select one of the curve and do emit from self and do add hair from fibers so it's gonna add hairs in the right position okay and we can repeat it for this one emit from self add hair from fibers So this is good enough for your production um, to work with. Um, you just have to parent everything to the hair. But in a situation whereby you want it to be able to be actually generated from the character head, so that you can probably get some cool information, um, then we need to find a way to join all these particular systems so that we can be able to generate it from the object. So let me show you how you would do that. So now what we want to do is to select this curve, go and convert it to a geometry or a fiber mesh. Now we can hide curve 1. So now we can select curve 2 and repeat the same thing. And now we can hide curve 2. So what we have here is just this two mesh, it is created. And you have to make sure, and I forgot to do that. So you have to make sure that th these two curves, let's redo that. So we have to make sure that these two curves have the same viewports displayed. So it doesn't matter the 
the numbers of, of vertices in the initial curve. So what matters is that the particle system have the same steps, uh, strand steps. So if this is five, you want to make sure the other one is set to five too. And so if everything is set um, equally, now we can convert it once more and repeat the same thing, convert. And now we can just join this two because they are same. They have the same amount of vertices now. Okay, and now we can now combine it with the mesh. So, cursor to selected, 3D cursor, and hair from fiber. And we can either delete this. We are good. Yeah, so guys, um, this is how you can do this. And you can now play, play with triangle stuff. You can add it to your animation and it should work. Good. So thank you guys for watching this tutorial. I hope it was helpful. If you enjoyed this, please give this video a thumbs up so that YouTube, the YouTube algorithm can suggest it to more Blender viewers. And if you wish to see more from me, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because I do post um, really helpful production content. And yeah. Okay. Bye-bye for now. See you next time.